Hey guys, so I'm trying to get all these videos in, which is why I'm in the same attire I was before, um, especially since I have class in a couple of minutes. Um, now, my makeup routine is very simple. I still do my eyebrows the same way I've always done them. It's probably never going to change, but I have found something new that I use, which is my Beauty Blender. I know it looks dirty right now, so I mean, it's a little ripping it back. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I do use this. Um... So I'll wash my face with clean and clear oil absorbing cleanser and then I will once in a blue um, I will scrub my face with um, apricot scrub. Fact, don't do it every day because it's really harsh on your skin. It can cause more breakouts. Um, so try to do it like once every two weeks or once a week something like that because um, it's extremely harsh because they do use the shells of apricots. So you learn something new every day. Um, so after I'm done washing my face, you know, I'm not a big fan on skincare. Like, I don't really take care of my skin the way I should. Um, so once in a blue, I'll put on the Clean and Clear Moisturizer, which is oil-free. But I don't like to use oil. Like, I don't like to put stuff on my face because I know my face is oily. And I feel like if I put stuff on it, it gets oilier faster. Um, maybe that's not the case. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I don't do it. So I'll, like, um, I'll do my eyebrows first in the morning, and then I'll put water in my beauty blender and it'll get bigger and then I take my MAC NC NW40 I'm sorry this is MAC NW40 which I have I'm dropping stuff yeah <laughs> um which is actually I have hit pan in it so I'm just kind of swiveling around with the beauty blender but I'll take the beauty blender open this up so we'll around and I will conceal the dark spots around my face um then I'll take the beauty blender again and I'm actually in between two different foundations that are drugstores because I really want to try the MAC um liquid foundation but it's $26 and right now I just don't have it so I'm in between the they're both by the same company but one is L'Oreal True Match in the color of Sable um which is this and then um, I'll use this, and I really love this. I really like this foundation. It really covers really, really, really well. Um, but when I use this, I will take my e.l.f. powder brush, which is a flat, flat head brush, and it's very, very dense. And I'll use my MAC powder, which is in NC45. So yeah, I'll use this um, together, and then I'm done. You know, I'll put my eyeliner on, which is the Wet n Wild Fergie which looks like this, um, and I'll line the bottom with the black eyeliner, put on some color lip, and go. Um, I'm really not big on having too much makeup. Once in a while, I will contour, um, but that's not usual because I, th I feel like I have a small face and, I con and my contour brushes are too big. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. But when I'm not using the L'Oreal True Match, I am using the L'Oreal Magic New Liquid Powder, which I absolutely adore because I just put on my concealer, put this on, my eyeliner, my eyebrows, my lip, and I'm out the door. Um, I will say before you use it, you should shake it up to get it all mixed in together because if not, it doesn't come out right. It comes out clear, and I guess the color needs to be shaken up. Put this on a beauty blender, dab, 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 um, eyeliner, lips, and I'm out the door. So that's really all I do for my makeup, um, but that's pretty much it. So again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it so much, and I hope you have a blessed day.